चाहता हूं द ब्रदर आस्क टू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कैन दे बी चेंज इन द लॉ एंड द टीचिंग द फॉर माइटी गॉड कैन दे बी चेंजेस एंड क्वेश्चन टू इज दैट कैन अ पर्सन बी रिबॉर्न कैन यू बी रिबॉर्न एंड यू कोल्ड अवर्स ऑफ द गीता विच आर कम टू लेटर ऑन एज फार एज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसर्न कैन द लॉज of god keep on changing if the law of god is time bound if it's meant for only a particular group of people and for a particular time period it will keep on changing for example as i mentioned my talk torah zabur injil all of them were revelation of god but they were meant for a particular group of people and for a particular time period but once the last and final revelation of god has been revealed nothing new can be added nothing can be subtracted Quran is the last and final revelation of almighty god no other revelation is going to come prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger there is no other messenger to come allah says in surah azab chapter 3 verse number 40 ma kana muhammadun aba ahadim min rijalikum wala khir rasulullah wa khatamun nabiyyin wa kana allah bi kulli shay'in alima that muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of any of you men but he is a messenger of allah and is the seal of the prophets and allah is all knowing full of wisdom After Prophet Muhammad, if anyone says that he is a messenger of God, he gets revelation. Then he requires a psychiatrist. Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. After Quran, no other revelation will come. And Quran clearly mentioned in Surah Maida, chapter five, verse number three: "On this day, have I completed my religion for you, and I have chosen for you Islam, and completed my favor on you. Once the religion is completed, nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted. So, as far your question, yes." the old revelations they can be changes but the basic message from the first revelation till the last about tauhid about oneness of god is the same so all the revelations that came before the quran they have not maintained the pure form they have been changed by human beings and because it was not meant for eternity almighty god didn't feel it fit to be preserved but as far as the quran is concerned allah says in surah hijr chapter number 15 verse number 9 we have revealed the quran and we shall guard it from corruption this quran even if all the human beings try and change the quran they cannot do it all the human being and jinn they get together they can't change the quran so as far as the previous revelation yes there can be a change but the final revelation no it cannot be changed it is the ultimate 